Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at 7-Zip compared to WinRAR, which are both file compression and extraction tools for creating and extracting uh, zip files, RAR files, 7-Zip files, and several other compression formats. Um, so if you don't know what a compressed file would be, then what the purpose of one would actually be, it's basically where you take a folder or a single file you put it in a .zip compression, which is kind of a container around that folder or grouping of files, and it reduces the file size of all of the contents, as well as making it one single file that you could, say, upload to a Gmail email or something like that, uh, rather than having to upload each uh, contained file individually. So it can definitely be useful. Now, if you look at the interface of the two apps here, you'll notice that they are remarkably similar, almost having the exact same kind of tools here, being able to add files to a, um, a, a zip or a raw compressed file, to extract files from one of those compression formats, to test it to make sure it's uh, valid and not corrupted, copying move, basically the same kind of tools. The only thing that's really different that I can tell is you got wizard and repair over here. The one exception that stands out to me over here is repair for WinRAR. So if you have um, a file archive, so .zip or .rar, that for some reason it's not opening properly, the data may be corrupted, and theoretically being able to use the repair tool would be able to possibly recover some of the data but once again it's something I haven't needed to test and I don't really have an example to go off of here. Um, but what I could say is that really the odds of you getting a corrupted zip or RAR file aren't that incredibly high but if that situation did come by that tool could be helpful for you. One thing that you will see contained inside of the tools for both programs is a benchmark. So what we'll do here is we'll run a quick benchmark on my computer so that you can actually see which of the two apps runs faster for creating compressed files. So we'll go ahead and run 7c first. Okay, I think that's going to be long enough. So here we have uh, an approximation of the compression decompression power inside of 7-zip running on my particular computer. So let's run the benchmark for uh, WinRAR as well. And here we have the results for WinRAR as well. So this is going to be a compression speed over here on the right, definitely not decompression. And if we look at the two pieces of data, then actually it looks like 7-zip is about twice as quick. Um, not 100% sure if those two translate perfectly, but I mean, there's the data. You can analyze it however you'd like. Now, um, what I will say is that oftentimes it's not really a huge deal these days. If you're extracting a really big zip or raw file, it's not a huge deal. It'll take a couple minutes. If you don't have a couple extra minutes to spend, then, I mean, maybe you would want to go with 7-zip because the data does show that it's faster. But for most people, it's probably not going to be a huge deal. Now, one of the concerns you might have is that... 7-zip can do 7-zip files and WinRAR can do RAR files, but they wouldn't actually be able to handle the other formats. That's actually not true. 7-zip uh, can handle RAR and ZIP files and 7-zip files, and WinRAR can also handle those formats as well. They've also got several other less used formats like tar.gz's, uh, which both tools will be able to handle. So really any kind of compression format is probably going to work with both of them. The process for being able to compress files or to extract them is more or less going to be the same for both programs as well. If we go to one of these compressed file archives on the desktop, I can right click it and you can see that by installing those apps to Windows 10, we get both a 7-zip menu and the equivalent down here with WinRAR quick functions. So we would be able to extract those to the current folder, which would be the desktop, in pretty much the same way extract files, uh, same idea there, you extract it to a designated location, and you can also open the archives. So both tools kind of going for the same set of common functions. Now if you want to create an archive, you also have the same kind of tools. If we right click on a folder, 7-zip, you can add to a 7-zip or a uh, .zip very quickly, or send them as an email with 7-zip. 
And you can also add them to a .var and compress and email them inside of the WinRAR menu. But using the main interface for the apps, it's also very similar. I can select one of the folders and we can add it to a new compressed file. So that can be 7-zip tar dot wim or dot zip inside of uh, 7-zip. And inside of WinVAR, it can be dot var, dot var 5, or dot zip. So ultimately what you should probably be gathering from uh, this video so far is that both of the tools are actually very, very similar. Uh, Venmore does have the extra advantage of having a repair tool and a wizard tool for novice users, which might allow you to use some of the common functions a little bit easier by going through a menu. Um, but since you've already seen how to do it in the video, I don't really know how useful a wizard is honestly going to be at this point. The other real major advantage that we need to talk about here, if you look at WinRAR right up here, it says evaluation copy. To actually have WinRAR, um, an officially purchased copy, because WinRAR is not a free program, you need to go on to their website and purchase a license. It's $25, I believe, for one computer with reduced pricing for multiple license purchases. You can technically continue to use WinRAR as long as you want. It'll keep notifying you, hey, when are you actually going to go ahead and purchase the program? Um, but it will never stop you from using the program like most trial software would. That said, if you do really want to use WinRAR, it might be a good idea to go ahead and support the creators and purchase a license. But if you would prefer a, um, a free tool that maybe has a couple less features, 7-Zip is going to serve you just fine. So I've been Chris. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at 7-Zip compared to WinRAR for Windows 10 computers with me. Thank you for watching, and hopefully I'll see you all in my future content.